Good morning, families and friends of St. Lucie Public Schools and the graduating class of 2021. Our ceremony, <laughs> our ceremony will begin in just a few moments, but meanwhile, there are a few items that I would like to announce. Please be reminded that restrooms are available at the entrance of the stadium. To preserve the dignity of this very important occasion in your senior's life and for the safety of yourself and those around you, we request that you remember our requests for social distancing. We also ask that you continue to maintain social distancing during the ceremony and when exiting the stadium. Please also refrain from moving about as much as possible. To capture this very special moment for the parents of our graduates, we have arranged for a photographer. Parents, family, or friends will not be allowed in the student seating section. To allow each senior the respect they and their family deserve during this occasion, Please refrain from excessive displays of enthusiasm when your senior's name is called. We know that you are very excited about graduation, but every parent here deserves the opportunity to hear their child's name when it is announced. At this time, we ask that you please turn off your cell phones to avoid distractions during the ceremony. We appreciate your cooperation in this manner. At the end of the ceremony, we ask that you remain standing in your place until the last graduate has exited the stadium. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please join the school board, superintendent of schools, and the faculty and staff of Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, the West Prep Magnet Public School, as we honor your sons and daughters for their hard work, dedication, and achievement. Please stand. Good morning. Please remain standing as I lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. Good morning and welcome parents and families, staff, distinguished guests, and most importantly, class of 2021. As your student government president, it is my honor to introduce our guest on stage this morning. School board member representing District 1 and Madam Chairperson, Debbie Holly. Representing District 3, Dr. Donna Mills, Vice Chairperson. <laughs> Representing District 5, Troy Ingersoll. <laughs> and student, sorry, Superintendent St. Lucie Public Schools, Mr. E. Wayne Gent. 
It is also my pleasure to recognize our proud principal, Mr. Joseph Lazo. And our esteemed assistant principal, Ms. Leslie Taylor. Mr. Fred Wolgen. Dr. Matthew Roy. Mr. Jason Martin. And Ms. Makita Brome. We also want to acknowledge the fabulous faculty and staff of West Prep, our senior class sponsors and district office personnel and are assisting with the memorable celebration. Now please welcome our senior class president, Skylar Moby to the podium. Thank you, Abby. We did it, Fort Pierce Westwood, class of 2021. We are the next high school graduates of the United States. It's hard to believe how far we've come in such a small amount of time. Many of you I graduated with from Forest Grove just four short years ago. And now we're legal adults with plans for the future and as of today, a high school diploma. <laughs> we had the, the pleasure and an honor it was my pleasure and honor to serve as your senior class president, and I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I also want to thank the other senior class officers, Philip Adams, Alessia Aristamine, Serena Dessen, Thaddeus Owens, Trinity Franklin, and Brianna Kazin for their service and support during this school year. Although I may not be familiar to all of you, I've had the opportunity to be on both Maine and MOA campuses and spend time with many of our classmates. When I look at this graduating class of 2021, I see future artists, entrepreneurs, medical professionals, soldiers, tech giants, athletes, Philip, <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> now it's our time to go and reach our goals and dreams. We've gotten, to, we've gotten through so much together. Freshman year, we barely knew our way around. We were the new kids invading someone else's territory, but that didn't matter because we were finally high schoolers. We had our first spirit week, pep rally, homecoming, and so much more. Fast forward three years, and now we're the top dogs. After these four years at Westwood, we feel at home down Panther Lane. We've worked so hard for so many long years, looking forward to the day that we would be the seniors not knowing we would have the most unique senior experience yet, or lack thereof. Day in and day out, we've worn masks and practiced social distancing, or stared at a screen all year if you were virtual. The pandemic has kept us from a lot of traditional senior festivities. We missed out on a lot as a class, and I'm positive no one ever dreamed of their senior year turning out like this. So we will go down in history as the true graduating class of Corona, from the first day of school down to the very last, we persevered and made it to this great day, even through a deadly pandemic. We've reached a point in our lives where growing up is no longer a dream, but it's our reality. Separation from each other, it's inevitable. It's time we branch out and grow into individuals and open our minds to what will come next. We're on to bigger and better things, as the old folks would say. Not to say it'll be easy, because it will be scary and there will be some tough times. But on the other side of fear, there is growth. So let that be your motivating factor as you journey through life. And as I close, I leave you with a valuable piece of advice. Your families are extremely proud of you. You can't imagine the sense of relief they feel right here in this very moment as they sit here through your graduation ceremony. This would be the most appropriate time to ask for money. You're welcome. Seriously though, seriously. Remember to thank and appreciate them too. Their support is what has gotten you here. And remember, once a panther, always a panther. Thank you. Thank you, Skylar. On behalf of the faculty and staff and students, I would like to present you with a plaque that reads, Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, the West Prep Magnet, Class of 2020. Congratulations, Skylar Mobley, class president. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oh, I guess it's my turn now. We do have one other member on our panel here. We have Deputy Superintendent Dr. Jonathan Prince with us here today. Thank you. Wow, we can do better than that, can't we, Panthers? That's right. I need to feel this energy. Well, good morning, Panther Nation. Today, we are gathered here as the culminating ceremony of the graduating class of 2021. West Prep is honored to have you in attendance today and viewing with us online. Students, please take a moment to thank your parents and family members for their support throughout your educational journey. <laughs> to the faculty and staff of Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, I want to personally thank you for all that you have done to get our students to this point today. Students, would you help me by showing and giving them a token of your appreciation with a hand clap of praise as well. <laughs> to our superintendent, Mr. E. Wayne Gent, board members, and district level personnel assisting with us here to see, we welcome you. What a historic year. During this year, all of us were affected by circumstances of our new normal. What we went through tested our resiliency and character, especially you graduates. You were denied many of the traditions and customs that were supposed to make up your senior year, yet you did not fold to the pressure. For instance, 11 of you will be graduating with your AA degree from Indian River State College. Would you please stand and recognize that this time? may be seated. We also have 63 graduates who've earned a GPA above a 3.8. 80 graduates earn a GPA above a 3.0. And over 467 graduates earn an industry certification, academic award, leadership, and or a club cord. Congratulations. <laughs> These accomplishments and accolades ensure we are living up to the mission of St. Lucie Public Schools. You survived under great circumstances and you have been resilient despite changes. Through these changes, you've adapted and excelled. In John Maxwell's book, Change Your World, he wrote, I experience something so life-changing, I change. I share something so life-changing, you change. We facilitate something so life changers, others change. I ask you, Panthers, how are you going to influence others to change? One way is by your actions. I am reminded of a childhood riddle of the five frogs sitting on a log. Graduates, before I can confirm you as official graduates, this is going to be your last test. Please listen carefully. There are five frogs on the log, and four decide to jump. How many frogs are left? Please show me your answers with a hand. Let me see. Okay, no one knows the answer. This is the test. You, are, you will be graded for it. Yes, it does count. No one wants to respond. That's okay. But I'm, I'm looking at some of you. The answer to the question is there are still five frogs on the log. There's a principle behind this riddle. Deciding is not doing. Actions are louder than your intentions. Your actions, let that be your voice. When you take action, others are, will begin to see it and hear it. We all have good intentions to do great things, but those intentions are filled with empty results until you do it. As future alumni of West Prep, whatever you choose to do, remember to do it that symbolizes pride and excellence. Use the resiliency that I saw and to fuel you to do great things. Doing great things also comes with great uh, responsibility and accountability. The next principle comes from Stephen Covey. And he stated this, 
I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my decisions. When you begin to take action, you begin to take control. You have the power. You have the choice to rise above and figure a way out. Let your actions and decisions be grounded in transparency, consistency, and fairness. Nike's slogan says it's best, class of 2021, just do it. Thank you for honoring me with the title as your proud principal these last four years, and I hope through my actions you have seen me taking West Prep as the premier educational center in St. Lucie Proud County Schools. I hope I have made you proud. Go make me proud. Our celebration cannot be concluded until we say our beloved school motto. I invite the alumni sitting with us today and the viewers online by saying this with me. Once a Panther, thank you graduates. I'd like to call Dr. Roy to the podium at this time. Samuel Porter, would you please join me at the podium? It is my pleasure to introduce to you Fort Pierce Westwood's salutatorian, Samuel Porter. Samuel is graduating with a weighted GPA of 5.56. He is joined today by his parents, James and Melissa Porter, brother James and sister Lillian. Porter family, would you please stand and be recognized? While attesting Westwood, Samuel has been an important part of our Panther band, including three years as section leader, one year as assistant band captain, and this year's band captain. He plays the euphonium, tuba, and trombone. He was awarded outstanding sophomore and has also earned superior and excellent ratings in marching band and small ensemble. In addition, Samuel serves as vice president of our National Honor Society and is a member of the Brain Bowl and Lighthouse team. He is an Eagle Scout and has won the National Outdoor Achievement Award for camping and the Paul Bunyan Woodman Award Samuel was recently awarded his AA degree at IRSC, where he has been on the dean's list. After graduation, Samuel will attend Florida Polytechnic University to major in mechanical engineering with a focus on aerospace. His goal is a career with SpaceX, Lockheed Martin, or NASA. Please join me in welcoming Samuel Porter, Fort Pierce Westwood salutatorian, to the podium. Good evening. Thank you to all the families, staff, and administration for being here for this momentous occasion. Our class has gone through a lot of change in our four years of high school, but change isn't always bad. Change can lead to a new chapter. Change can do many things. As Jax C. E. Maxwell puts, change is inevitable, growth is optional. I believe our class has done an amazing job in growing in the changes that we have experienced. And as Dan Benson said, it is not a successful climb unless you enjoy the journey. I also believe that we have enjoyed the journey that high school is. Some changes we have experienced include administration changes, the school's name change, and the change in how we may view school. Thanks, COVID. I believe that we have grown a tremendous amount within each of these situations. In the administration changes, we have experienced a variety of ways that the school has been run. I believe that every year the administration has had our best interest in mind, and Mr. Lizzo has done an amazing job leading the school. Some of these changes have been a little awkward in establishing who we are as Panthers, but isn't change always awkward? Through the awkwardness of change, we have come out with success in a multitude of activities, ranging from academics to sports to after-school clubs. Academically, I mean, we all are here to graduate, right? That's a pretty nice accomplishment. In sports, one of our greatest accomplishments is the way we were able to hold Central off in football. This year, we beat Central 49-0. to We didn't let them score a single point. 
I remember our freshman year, the whole week after we beat Central, the school was just hyped up. Through these triumphs over Central, we experienced a sense of camaraderie. Now for the after school activities, COVID put a halt on the competitions for after school activities. But through this challenge, we have all been working hard and preparing for the, for the next year to come back even better than we left. With the school's name change, we have, had give, we have been given a unique opportunity to redefine our beloved school. In the past four years, we have helped to prove that the West Prep is the best school around. With the new and revitalized attractive program and magnet programs, we are continuing to grow and become better as a school. As Mr. Lazo says, the West Prep is on a journey to becoming the premier educational center of St. Lucie County. Like our class quote says, if we are enjoying how we are redefining our school, we are, success we are successfully helping our school in this journey. Because of COVID, we, are abrupt we abruptly had to transition to online school. I don't know about you all, but I was not ready to be at home 24 seven and still be expected to do schoolwork. But we were able to persevere through that change and grow into who we have become today. COVID changed the way we were able to absorb new material and content, which changed the way we view how schooling can be done. Post COVID, I hope that we can realize this important idea. The process is almost more important than the outcome. I am so glad that we have experienced these changes together and are able to grow in them. Now I challenge you all, everyone here, graduates, families, and staff to go out and try your best to benefit the community that has helped raise us and mentor us for the past 18 years. In the words of Aesop, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. So let's go out and change the world and enjoy the journey one step at a time. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and students, we are presenting you with a plaque that reads, Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, the West Prep Magnet Class of 2021. Congratulations to Samuel Porter, salutatorian, 5.56 GPA. At this time, I'd like to call Mr. Martin to the podium. Kevin Vandernoot, would you please join me at the podium? It is an honor to introduce to you Fort Pierce Westwood Academy's valedictorian, Kevin Vandernew. Kevin is graduating today with a weighted GPA of 5.65. Feels good, doesn't it? While a student, Kevin has been a member of the Ocean Bowl team and volunteered for Keep Port St. Lucie Beautiful events. He will earn his AA from IRSC this summer and then will begin to work on his bachelor's degree in cybersecurity. Kevin is joined today by his mother, Renee Hansen. Will you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Congratulations and welcome Fort Pierce Westwood Academy's class of 2021 valedictorian, Kevin Vandernoot. My fellow graduates, I would like to begin with the cliche, it is an honor to be giving this speech to all of you. The truth is, this gesture is meaningless because most of you don't know who I am. That's okay though, because I don't know who most of you are as well. But I know we all have something in common. We've all struggled to be where we are now. Over these four years of high school, we have overcome challenges in both an academic and life setting formed and broken relationships, and, hopefully, have tried to live our lives to the fullest. I was told my speech should be based around another cliche, that it's not a successful climb unless you enjoy the journey. According to the theme of the speech, then, my climb wasn't successful. I didn't enjoy the journey, and it's not just because of the pandemic that happened this year. Just like all of you, I've struggled to be here, where I am now. I may not have struggled academically, but my biggest struggle was with myself. When I received the news that I was the valedictorian, I only thought to myself, 
meh. I'd worked hard towards being where I am right now, and when I got this honor, I felt indifferent. I was told by many people in my life that I'm a gifted student, but this term does more harm than good. It implies that my good grades were not a result of my academic efforts, but rather my gift. It made every success feel empty, and it made me, and every setback hurt. Recently, however, I started to view myself differently. I've started to take pride in myself. If any accomplishment felt too easy for me, I took pride in being able to master the task. If I faced any setback, I took pride in enduring through it and trying to improve myself. That is why I ask of you all this one simple request. Take pride in being here, just as I have started to take pride in myself. We've all put in the effort to be here through success and setback. We may not have had to enjoy the journey, but as long as we take pride in being at the destination, then it is worth it. Thank you, class of 2021. Thank you, Kevin. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and students, we present you with a plaque that reads, Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, the West Prep Magnet, class of 2021. Congratulations to Kevin Vandernoot, valedictorian 5.65. I'd, I'd, I'd now like to call Mr. Lizzo back up to the podium. Mr. Gent, would you please join me at the podium? Distinguished members of the school board and Superintendent Gent, as principal of Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, I present you the graduating class of 2021. I certify that they have met the graduation requirements of Saint, the school board of St. Lucie Schools and the state of Florida. Thank you, Mr. Lazo. There are 67 counties in the state of Florida. St. Lucie County is ranked number 10 in the graduation rate, and no school, and no school has seen the growth in this state that Westwood has seen under his leadership and his faculty and staff over the last five years. Today, graduating over 90 percent, 95 percent of the students who entered their freshman year. So, congratulations. And Mr. Lazo, you may now award their diplomas. Thank you, Mr. Gent. Will the candidates on the first row please ride, please rise and proceed to the staging area. Kevin Vandernoot Jr., high honors. Samuel Porter, AA degree and high honors. Skylar Mobley, AA degree, high honors. Abriana Babaram, high honors. Vislu Edwards, honors. Ellen Delano, high honors, AA degree. Naraya Nicholas, AA degree, high honors. Maya Forrestal, high honors. Leanne Spaulding, high honors. Kaylin Webb, high honors. Patrick Klopner, AA degree, high honors. Paris Greer, high honors. Philip Adams, high honors. Ashley Richard, AA degree, high honors. Kiara Dillon, high honors. Coral Ferris Merendino, high honors. Daisy Morales, high honors. George Roll, AA degree, high honors. Liam Bino, high honors. Tanasia Young, high honors. 
Cameron Aracilo, high honors. James Gardner, high honors. Griffin Cruz, high honors. Jesenia Rivera, AA degree, high honors. Maya Cooper, high honors. Serena Desine, high honors. Samantha Watson, high honors. Tavaria Freeman, high honors. Larissa Brummett, high honors. Adrian Acluche, honors. Adalberto Acosta, honors. Samuel Adams, honors. Ashanti Allen, Deasia Allen, Arnisha Anderson, Contralius Anderson, Isis Andrades Hernandez, Fabian Antonio, Brianna Arrujo Bartra, Mariela Arcos, Alessia Aristamine Honors, Jeremy August, high honors. Paul Avant, honors. Serenity Bain, honors. Amaya Banks, high honors. Naya Battistini, Bacorajan Banner, Cardell Battle, Aiden Bomker, Aristotle Atkins, Kaijur Baynard, Allison Beal, honors. Israel Bradley, high honors. Stoney Brainin, Antonio Brown, David Brown III, Jaden Brown. Chinity Bryant, Darisha Brunson, Ashari Bryant, high honors. Gabriel Bray. Christopher Burgess. Johnny Bowie, honors. Brianna Burns, Kiona Burns, Raekwon Burr, Emilia Cabrero Antunez, high honors, Cornisha Caldwell, Tyrell Campbell, Kayla Caesar, Marie Charit, Jessica Chavez Hawthorne, honors, James Cherry, Alexis Clark, honors, Kamari Clark, Lacey Clark, high honors. Devonta Coe, high honors. Dominic Collier. Don Travius Collins. Jade Collins, honors. Zachary Cook. Kamaria Cooks. Xavier Cooper. Jariel Darby. Dejanique Daughtry, high honors. Bensumi Davilmar. Carmine Davis. Taylor Davis, honors. Lorena De La Cruz, Alex Dean, honors. Jenica Deraville, Emmanuel Derisma, Destiny Derrico, honors. Nicholson Desir, honors. Dana Durane, Wichel Dubernat, high honors. Raina Duzant, high honors. Emily Ebner, high honors. Nathan Edwards. De'Aaron Ellison, Mudley Duge, honors. Maynard Diaz Lopez, Kayon Ellis, honors. Cheyenne Earlstein, Jacqueline Espinosa, honors. Keevan Estima, Jalitha Ferguson, James Filsme, Jaden Finch, high honors. Leka Finholm, Erin Finley, Jayla Flagg, Vitalian Francis, Trinity Franklin, Gabriel Freeman, honors, Michaela Fry, high honors, Zakaya Gardner, Amari Gilbert, Jada Gilbert, Tykeon Glenn, honors, Elda Godinez, honors, 
Rachel Raquel Godinez, Rosa Gomez Lopez, Eddie Gonzalez, high honors, Lucina Gonzalez, Marco Gonzalez, Ty Gonzalez, Brianna Gordon, Gerlines Guerrier, honors, Willie Hagens, honors, Diamante Hall, honors, Natasha Hall, high honors, Julia Haney, Joshua Harder, honors, Rachel Hayward, Cesaya Hernandez, Crystal Hernandez, Melvin Hernandez, Melvin. Pamela Hernandez, honors, Delia Hill, Kajay Holmes, Maya Horn, Karen Iriogan, honors, Kavasi Jack Jackson, Eugene James, honors, Jaden James, Nikaya James, Sarah Jasso, Tiana Jean Baptiste, Malik Jeanot, honors, Charles Jenkins, Honesty Jenkins, Jason Johnson, Haley Jordan, Julian Juarez, Sarah Jules, Erica Julian, honors, Brianna Kazin, high honors, Antoine Kelly, high honors, Hezekiah Kelly, Alina Khan, Trakila King, Brandon Kitchen, Lenz LaGranger, Antavian Lee, Antasia Lee, honors, Micah Lee, high honors, Takia Lassane, Sh Shakaya Lifred, Clark Lima, honors, Devante Littles, Angie Lopez Cardona, Hermes Lopez de Cisco, honors, Lorena Lopez Mendoza, honors, Jolanda Lewis, <laughs> Mike L. Love, honors, Pierre Macias, Elijah Major, honors, Jacob Martin, Elijah MacArthur, Shamar McBride, Antero McCall, honors, Jabin McCrary, honors, Emery McKinnon, Jr., Kenny Meyer, Shalay Mitchell, Tommy Mitchell, Demetra Moody, Akira Moore, honors, Ashan Moore, honors, Amaria Morris, honors, Crystal Muriel, Carol Neston, Jamari Nichols, Corey Nielsen, Maylene Nimblet, honors, Drayvon Nanambre, Mason Null, honors, Michael Ocean, honors, Adnel Osney, honors, Jarrell Otero, Jakirian Owens, Young Floridian winner, honors, Justin Owens, Thaddeus Owens, honors, Osvaldo Paniagua, Rebecca Papsadero, honors, Cedron Parker, Canton Paul II, high honors, Keon Peavy, Daliana Pena Berlanga, honors, Alex Perez, Charity Peterson, Dominic Peterson, honors, Latricia Peterson, Delana Fan, a high honors, Devin Potter, Franklin Ramirez de Leon, honors. Rafael Ramirez Delgado, honors. Jennifer Ramos Gamboa. David Redeker, honors. Savannah Register, honors. Joshua Real Jr., honors. Ramal Rene, Nathan Reynolds, I'm sorry, Nathaniel Reynolds. Fedner Richard, Rose Riffin, Deborah Rigby. Felicia Riggins, Brandon Rivera Jimenez, honors. Aliyah Robinson, honors. Tobias Robinson, honors. El Shaddai Rochester, Chloe Robinson, Patrick Rodriguez Morales, Taylene Rodriguez, honors. Anthony Roll, Janila Roll, high honors. David Rosenbaum, Vianney Rozier, honors. Davinsky Pierre. Leslie Salva Salvador Martinez, high honors. 
Jennifer Sanchez, John Cerullo, high honors, Michaela Scott, high honors, Naisha Scott, Terrence Scott, Alexandra Scroggins, high honors, Jean Sevier, Lena Shingledecker, honors, Alexander Silvestre Ortiz, Camaria Sermons, Arcuria Smith, Jabri Snyder, Javier Solis, honors, Jaden Sorrentino, Jenny Soto, honors, Mark Sousa, Rayvon Stanberry, Talisha Stewart, honors, Tammy Stewart, honors, Precious Stevens, Brodarian Still, Angelina Stokes, honors, Andravius Stone, Michael Stork, Jillian Sullivan, Anaya Sumter, Jakima Thomas, Edwin Torres Ayala, honors, George Torres Lopez, Ajela Townsend, high honors, Nina Troublefield, honors, Michael, Tra Michael Troutman, Brian Vargas, Alanis Vega Vega, honors, Jonathan Vega, Henry Velasquez Perez, Jose Velasquez, Leonardo Velasquez, William Velasquez Ortiz, Glenisha Victor, honors, Demonte Wade, honors, Jalen Walker, Lawendra Walker, Michael Wallace, Micaiah Wallace, Brianna Ward, Kimbria Warren, David Washington, Zakia Washington, honors, Atiana Watkins, honors, Deshaun West, honors, Willie Whitehead, Collins Williams, Denise Williams, Dwayne Williams, Nakia Williams, Taisha Williams, high honors, Faith Wilson, Jeremiah Wilson, Miguel Wilson, Nia Wilson, Francis Yap, Isaiah Israel, Wendy Zapata, high honors, Natoya Ingram, Leela Dunn, Ludena Edmetre, Monty Phillips, Tabia Ingram, honors. I got, I got him. Thanks, coach. Mr. Jen, would you please join me again at the podium? Will all the graduates please rise? <laughs> Mr. Jen, as the proud principal of Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, the West Pratt Magnet, I present the graduating class of 2021, graduates of St. Lucie Public Schools. They await your confirmation. Well, hold on one second and let all the graduates get, get back to their seats so they can enjoy this moment. All right, Panthers, I confirm you as graduates of St. Lucie Public Schools. You may now turn your tassels. Congratulations. Please stand and join as we play our school alma mater.
Mr. Gent, distinguished guests on stage, to all the parents and families and friends, thank you for joining us in celebrating Fort Pierce Westwood Academy's class of 2021. As we begin our recessional, I ask the audience to remain seated until the last graduate exits the field and then meet them, your graduate in the parking area. Also, please remember our request earlier of social distancing. With the first row, please begin the recessional. Congratulations, Panthers. Thank you. 